In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure permissions so that the issues we create can only be seen by the person who creates the issue and by a specific team in our organization. The scenario we have is HR. Say we are raising our leave applications through JIRA. We want to make sure that the leave application is not viewable by anyone else in our company because these are confidential. We should only see our own leave application and the HR team is the only team that should be able to see everyone's leave application. So let's see how we can set up our permissions to achieve this. Let's go to our permission schemes. So go to issues and then permission schemes. Now we have a HR permission scheme here, which is being used by my human resources project. Let's jump in this scheme. And the key permission that we're looking at here is browse projects. So who is allowed to see the issues and, uh, and the project. So let's click on the add operation. And you can see here, what we can do is assign this permission to the reporter. So the reporter is allowed to browse the project and that essentially means that you're allowed to see issues in this project if you are the reporter of that issue and we know that the reporter is the person creating the issue. We also need the HR team to be able to see the issues. Now I can create a group called HR and add that group into the permission or I can use my project role approach. So let's go to project role and let's select our developers role. Now our developers role can be used to indicate the team of the project. So we add that in and that means anyone in the developers role for the HR project can browse. But we need to specify who's in the developers role. So let's jump to a HR project and configure the developers role. Inside the project we go down to roles and you can see here there's our three roles, administrators, developers and users. Now with the developers role, we don't want to have a group specified because this group can consist of different users from different projects. We just want to make sure that our HR team is configured for the role. So here we can add our individual members of the HR team. Let's add Pepper, she's in our HR team here and click on update. So Pepper is in the developers role and she is the one who can see every issue across the HR project. Everyone else can only see the issues that they have created. So let's give it a test. Let's go and create an issue and we'll set up a leave application. First of all, I'll set up a leave application for myself. So this is my annual leave. First day will be the 25th of December, just in time for Christmas. And last day is the 3rd of January. Reporter is Johnny2, create, and this is my leave application. Now let's go and set up another one. Let's create one for Mr. Tony Stark here. And we'll do the same dates, 25th, and last day is the 3rd of January. This time I'll set the reporter as Tony, so it's as if I'm creating this issue for him. Create. Now if I go and try and view Tony's leave application, you can see here we don't have the permission to do that because only the reporter can see the issue or if you are a member of the HR team and only Pepper is at the moment.